Hey, it's Joni Show again. Hello, everyone. You see you, family. This one's Black Widow, the Dutch giant, Oliver Richards, Board's Marvel film. An article by Noah Dominguez on August the 15th. Not so fresh, but still relevant. Black Widow. I don't know if anyone else is excited about this film, but I am. I think Black Widow was like a mother to the Avengers, and even more, it showed in Endgame. To me, I feel like she pretty much was made a legend when she sacrificed herself to save everyone else. Though she was not the only one to sacrifice themselves, her sacrifice was tremendously important. Because without hers, nothing could have continued on afterwards. It had been pretty much game over. Anyone don't agree with me? Let me know what you got to say down below, because I really like to be hearing what you got to say about that. Okay. Here it is. This is from CBR.com again. Again, it's a wonderful place. Great articles, great art. Bodybuilder Oliver Richards, a.k.a. The Dutch, has joined the cast of Marvel Studios' next feature film, Black Widow. Long time in the making, but it's finally coming. Black Widow, and she deserves it. Richters himself confirmed his casting in a post to Instagram. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We are comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. He said, I can finally tell you guys, Richards wrote, for the last three weeks I have been in the UK filming my part for the Black Widow movie. He continued, this year in January, for the first time in my life I started to join castings for movies. Who would have thought that I got to start with The King's Man, then off to Gangs of London, HBO, and now Black Widow, Marvel. If someone in 2018 told me my career in the movie industry would start like this, I would have called an ambulance fam. The Netherlands-born bodybuilder did not get his name of the Dutch giant for nothing. Richters is considered to be the tallest active bodybuilder in the world, standing at an imposing 7 feet 2 inches this guy is huge! Wow, it's gonna be great to see that on screen. With that in mind, it seems safe to say that Marvel character will be similarly imitating his Marvel character, excuse me. That being said, no details regarding Richter's role have been released. Black Widow's fight scenes aren't your typical superhero battles, so they say. I am very particular about my fight scenes, so uh, we'll see what you come up with, but uh, I'm pretty sure Joan and Show could do it better. And that's pretty much all the latest news that I see here on Black Widow. But again, the rundown. I'd say Black Widow is probably going to be a very good film, and I'm kind of hoping to even see uh, favorites like Nick Fury. Yeah, I think Nick Fury might appear in there. What you think? Let me know down below. I think Rick Fur Nick Fury, or Fury as he liked to be called, <laughs> don't call him Nick. <laughs> I think that I think he's going to be in this film, and I think it's going to reveal information about the future of what is to come. We already know Black Widow died in Endgame, but this is a prequel, and this will pretty much show, in my opinion, I believe, will show Black Widow's background and how she became, you know, the Black Widow that we all know and love. She's one of my favorite characters. I, I, I guess she's, like, undersold, but I, I think she's, she's a very good character, and... If not for her, a lot of things could not have been accomplished, not even just, you know, the Soul Stone. There's many things that could not have been done without her ability. She's a complete attribute, a complete benefit to the team, if you ask me. I think without her, many things would have went differently in a bad way. I mean, think about the Hulk. Think about how that monster would have been let out the cage if he didn't have the Black Widow to sedate him, to charm him, you know? To keep him straight when he's in his rage monster mode, you know what I mean? But thanks to Black Widow, Hulk had the opportunity to stay calm and figure it out and eventually become Professor Hulk, where he's in control now. But if not for Black Widow, 
taming him, you could say, or basically aiding him, I believe he probably would have ended up somewhere like the Raft, or some other place, some other high security facility that are, you know, used to keep super villains. You know, he pretty much would be considered a villain, because if the Hulk went on a rampage, that would be literally no one that could truly stop him. I mean, by the time he is calmed down or stopped, I mean, there would be so much damage, that would be billions of trillions of dollars that would have to be paid just to you know refurbish the entire world but that's my opinion i expect to see in the black widow more about budapest and you know it's, it's been talked about many times in in several films budapest 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 back in budapest in budapest reminds me of budapest buda 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 budapest what happened in budapest tell me now I can't wait to see black widow to find out i tell you that to me black widow is one of the essential avengers and I disagree with anyone that doesn't consider consider that like I do. I feel like she is definitely an essential member. If you pay attention to her, her story and her attributes and the things that she's done and abilities that she has being, you know, the master of espionage and, and tactical saboteur, sabotage, she's a badass. A badass. I think she is... An inspiration to women who want to be strong, who have mastered the abilities as a woman to capitalize on their particular abilities that can be used in the efforts to do good, to help and save the world from whatever threat that may you know, come about, whatever form that it may take. I think Black Widow is a legend. And I think they should do an A-Force movie and Black Widow should lead the team because she is OG Avenger you say how is this going to happen now nah, Black Widow's dead yeah how is this going to happen with Black Widow did well let's just say this how did any of it happen you see what I mean anything can happen in the Marvel world because we have things like the quantum realm you know we understand that there's a multiverse and we've been introduced what well, back since Doctor Strange that there's a such thing as the mystic arts a thing such as magic that means anything can happen that's like pouring gasoline on a fire anything can happen can't wait to see black widow this uh the dutch giant oliver richards sound like an interesting guy and i can't wait to see his character i mean his size alone is going to blow everybody's mind so hopefully they use him properly and give us something really entertaining you know what i mean i really want to see some great fight scenes some really really well thought out tactical fight scenes you know something like we see in like avengers you you know you have a, you see a fight scene with um remember when uh vision and um scholar which was attacked by the black order and they attacked and um you know vision and, 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 and scholar which they had a very difficult time dealing with them mainly because you know scholar which truly hasn't come into herself yet her character in my opinion is still developing she has not truly become Scarlet Witch yet. She is developing. But when she come into her powers, by the tutelage of Doctor Strange, I'm sure, looks like what it's leading to, she is going to be a phenomenal character. And she probably could have killed Thanos on her own if she had the confidence and know-how. What we've seen after Endgame from Scarlet Witch can only inspire you to want to see more. So I can't wait to see the WandaVision television series also, along with how it's going to lead into Doctor Strange 2, the Multiverse of Madness. It's going to be phenomenal. I want to see some great, epic post-credits that inspire me to see the next movie. I want to see everything linked together properly, with less mistakes, with things that make sense, and things that we can actually get behind as an audience. That's what I want to see. And I want to see Black Widow start it all. Whether it be in post-credit scenes or scenes in the actual film, I want to see Black Widow lead into the next project, which I believe is a Falcon Winter Soldier, Winter so Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I want to see that lead into that. I want to see some snippets. I want to see some something. You know what I'm saying? I want to see it lead into I want to see every product that they create flow into itself and transcends into the next stage being the next film. That's what I want to see. I want to see Black Widow be got Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I want to see something at the end. I don't know how they can possibly do that, but I want to see something in the end credits of Falcon and the Winter Soldier leading up to Eternal. Then I want to see Eternals 
leading up to WandaVision. Then I want to see WandaVision, and I think they already make plans to do that, lead into Doctor Strange. Now, will they reveal through Scarlet Witch? Because in the comics, she's actually a mutant. Will they reveal that she's a mutant? Perhaps Eternals will teach us about the origins of what makes the X-Men the X-Men. The X-Factor that factors in to become the X-Men. Hence, the X-Gene, the mutant factor. Will we understand it? Will it be taught to us? Will it will be shown to us in the way that MCU does it? We gotta lead up to the X-Men eventually. Might as well start now. Eternals is a great way to do that, in my opinion. Considering Celestials created the X-Gene. Black Widow. Can't wait to see it. Going to be great. Action-packed, I hope. Nick Fury we see, I hope. And could it possibly lead up to a way to bring back Black Widow back? I don't think so. What do you think? Let me know down below if you can. Highly anticipated for me. Don't see much about it on the internet. I feel like it's not getting enough hype. But I wanted to give Black Widow her due. Respect to the actress that plays her. She's a phenomenal actress. Respect to the character that they've created at Marvel. Black Widow. Great character. Has achieved many great things. The Avengers would not be the same without her. And I mean the same like as in they needed her. Again. This is Jonin Show, and that's my opinion about the Black Widow movie that's coming out. I can't wait to see it. And remember, please do not forget, because Hydra is trying to stop any and everything anybody wants to do. Because they're mean and nasty and want to rule the world. So that Hydra cannot confuse you or deceive you, make sure you hit that notifications button. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you hit that like button. And if you're feeling really generous, if you really want to be kind, hit that comment down at the bottom and say something relevant if you would, because we might just talk about it. And this has been Jonin Show, slicing it up, blazing it up as we do. Thank you for tuning in to the UCU. You are family, and we are all comics. United Comic Universe Store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies. When you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you, drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug. Drink it up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, wait. When your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Comic Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Comic Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome. So you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also leave a comment down below. Also click one or two or three or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here. So you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are coming.